Today we're looking at a vehicle that I actually have not driven yet. I, I plan to drive pretty soon. It's the Hyundai Venue. It's an entry-level vehicle. It's a, a vehicle that uh, is going to appeal to a very youthful audience. So let's take a look at a Zoom conversation that we had earlier today with the folks from Hyundai. Solid yet sporty side profile. Uh, expresses a sporty image with large wheel arch volume and a strong side character line. Uh, the term little bulldog actually came up a lot in our research. And, and even at its you know, diminutive size, you know, wheelbase and, and overall footprints, uh, I think the vehicle sits really well on the, on the 17 inch wheels, especially uh, very solid look. Uh, once again, even though it is a little bit you know smaller in its position that way, you know, below Kona, so we try to make a room for everything here. Um, but definitely, definitely solid design, uh, very good looks. The interior is, is well laid out. Everything's really, you know, easy to reach. Even those door pulls you can see are, are a large size. Uh, the standard 8-inch display audio screen. Once again, CJ will talk a little bit more about connectivity. But prominently centered, uh, supported in the dash pad, uh, volume knob and tuning knob. Uh, below that, the HVAC control is really easy to use, understand. Uh, moving down to the shift lever and then behind that uh, is the drive mode select down there with, by the heated seats. Uh, also, there's a little cubby right there above the glove box to give you a little bit more, you know, room for mobile devices or just, you know, little thoughts to make a, make the interior much more, you know, livable and inviting. It definitely uh, fits in for that side hustle. Um, females did respond to it very well in our research. Uh, at the younger, and as CJ will talk to you shortly about you know, connectivity, but we understand that's also uh, very important. We think that a lot of people are looking more for technology in a car. And just like your phone, you don't want a three-year-old phone uh, because you're giving up a lot of technology in that phone. We, we think that the same thing can happen in cars. And with Venue, uh, you're not settling for a two-year, three-year-old technology. You're getting the latest, the greatest technology uh, in, in a car, period, and, and at the price point of an entry-level SUV. Uh, and the, the feature that is really most important for the buyer for this car, which we think will be young drivers, millennials, is... Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, which with the Venue is actually standard. And uh, with the Venue, you know, a much less expensive car, the display is eight inches and that's that's standard. So uh, no matter what Venue you get, you get the standard eight inch display. Uh, and also standard is a rear view camera, uh, which typically on a car in this price point, you end up with uh, just a camera when you put the car in reverse. Oh, can you go back one, one Michelle? Uh, but with, uh, with Venue, when you put the car in reverse, it actually has a dynamic guidelines, which is really helpful. You know, buyers with this car will be driving in cities and really urban, dense environments where parking and parking, small parking spots can be difficult. So we thought that adding the dynamic lines to kind of the standard 8-inch display would, would be really helpful. In addition to that, it also has Bluetooth hands-free and Bluetooth music streaming standard, as well as uh, steering wheel controls. Uh, so you can press the, the steering wheel button uh, and do voice commands through CarPlay, Android Auto standard, uh, which is really unique for this, this price point. Also available is Blue Link Connected Car. Uh, so it's standard for three years, uh, which is the case for all vehicles. We're also integrated with Alexa. Uh, so if you have an Amazon Echo in your house or any Alexa-powered device in your house, you can use Alexa to start your car and set the temperature, uh, if a friend needs to grab some uh, equipment or anything out of your car and it's parked out on the street, you could say, Alexa, tell Blue Link to flash the lights on my venue so you could help them find it. And then you could say, Alexa, tell Blue Link to unlock my venue so they can grab whatever they need out of the car. And then you just tell Alexa to lock it. Don't need to pull your phone out. Don't need to use the watch. All with simple voice commands uh, using Alexa. And we're also integrated with Google Assistant. So any device that has Google Assistant built in, uh, you can send commands to the car as well. So whether that's your Google Home or your Android phone or even the Google Assistant app on your iPhone. Uh, but with Google Assistant, we added another uh, enhancement that uh, leverages Venue's available navigation system is the ability to send addresses to the car. So if you're in your house, you can just say, send the address of the nearest Starbucks to my venue and Google will find the address for that Starbucks and it'll send it right to your car. So that way when you get in, you don't have to type in the address uh, you can just you can just hit the, the road running. John McCormick, I think you've got a question too. Yes. Um, so I'm curious. You know, obviously this is a very crowded market, and 
you've got no less than seven SUVs now, as you point out. So what is it about the venue that, um, what, what key features are going to make it stand out in, in such a crowded uh, segment? Well, I, I think, you know, one of the biggest things is, is its size. And, 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 it, and that's how it differentiated it from Kona and the other SUVs on lineup. So it is very, you know, maneuverable. We've had it kind of more of an urban, urban positioning for the vehicle. But I think the safety features, the connectivity, um, the combination of the warranty, uh, as CJ mentioned, you know, maybe somebody might be considering a used car, but this is a very strong uh, new car with, with all the connectivity and, and backed up, you know, by America's best back warranty. Uh, I think it, it dis uh, distinguishes itself both from, you know, from the competitors, also from, uh, from a used purchase perspective as well. I have a question. Um, when the vehicle was premiered in Miami earlier this year, what kind of sales response or sales numbers did you get uh, from Miami from say January to early March before we got locked down? As far as sales, yeah, I mean, obviously everything kind of imploded there in the middle of March, um, but we were averaging uh, in Europe, around roughly around a thousand units uh, a month after that the launch. So, you know, as with every, every vehicle, it's a ramp up, you know, to get inventory out there. Um, you know, we've got five or six ports throughout the country and all shipping to other, you know, dealers throughout that country or through the country. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's performing fairly well coming out of the gate. And I think, I think yeah, Michelle and I have talked about this too, especially in these times, uh, being a little bit challenging, you know, the price point and the convenience to get, you know, fuel economy and everything, uh, even though the oil's at an all-time low, uh, just that that will change down the road at some point, it always seems to. Um, so it's very, very wise, you know, with the warranty and, and the price and everything, um, and all the safety equipment. I think it's a it's a good choice. Of the, of the